I think one of the few things that almost all graffiti artists and writers within the graffiti community can agree on is that we're all super lucky that nowadays there's such a developed graffiti product market. Like some graffiti artists really ruin the vibe when they get all angry about store-bought mops existing and stuff like that. You'll hear them be like, back in my day we had to whittle out a branch and, and find some jungle leaves to use as a nib. And it just gets really old so fast having to listen to them. But my attitude is more like, yes, obviously the DIY portion of making mops and making your own formula is super fun and I think it's one of the best things about graffiti but it's also super fun to have access to professionally made and engineered graffiti mops. They're both pluses. So with that being said today I would like to bring you my list of my personal top five graffiti mops specifically that I have used and use on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you each of the mops that I have personally found to be the best to use and I'll tell you some of the best things about each of those mops specifically, whether that be a feature of the mop or how it's priced if it's a specific brand of mop and all that good stuff. So coming in at number five is actually one that I haven't used in a little while too regularly, but it is the hard body 10 millimeter standard mop. I guess I should have told you before, some of these mops are going to be brand specific and others won't. But this style of mop itself is just a beauty. What I personally love about the sort of hard body mop like this is it gives you a very nice consistent flow, especially if you fill it with any kind of ink. If you're like me and you absolutely love the sort of two-toned look that you get with writing with inks, but you're not necessarily a fan of the really runny drips that a lot of the ink formulas give you more so than the paints at least. I really like like the 3d look of drips you can get with a lot of paint formulas not so much for the ink ones but anyway this style of mop just allows you to do nice consistent clean lines specifically if you're gonna fill it with ink and you can get a hell of a lot of tags out of them too because of that consistency but anyway when I featured this mop in a top five best graffiti supplies no longer sold video although I believe it still is true that block by block does not sell this type of mop anymore a few of the subscribers in our community here on the channel were able to let me know and let everyone Everyone else know that Art Primo actually makes a very similar marker. They call it the Toxic Shocker. Pretty awesome name. So, you know, it might be worth picking one up, checking it out, trying it out for yourself. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy this style mop, probably the Art Primo one. And of course, I'll link all the other mops that I'm mentioning in this video as well. And as far as this one goes, it's not too expensive either. So definitely one to keep in mind. Number four on this list is what I consider to be the epitome of classic mops. And it is what I call at least a New York style mop. I think that's the common name for it. To me, this kind of mop is hands down the funnest kind of mop if you're looking to make a DIY style mop yourself. I actually have a very old, like it's like a five-year-old video where I show you how to make a very tiny DIY style New York mop for yourself. You can check that out in the cards in the corner if you want. This kind of mop, although it can be sort of messy because of the lack of flow regulation, it definitely is the best for giving you sort of like custom shaped nibs. Anything with like a custom nib of any kind opens up a whole world of calligraphic possibilities that are super fun and and of course, I would say super important to learn about as a graffiti artist. Also, sort of the DIY nature of these mops will usually save you some cash. That's always a big bonus. Moving to number three on this list though, it is another classic, the Bingo Dabber style mop. This one is actually sort of a style that not too many brands make nowadays either. I think nowadays a lot of the sort of bigger graffiti brands want to look innovative and probably don't consider that this Bingo Dabber old school style is very conducive to that. But Jenobo in particular did a really great job with this mop design. I don't know where they got it manufactured or anything, but I found that specifically the Jenobo mops in this style were just the perfect squeezability. You had great, great control when you're writing with this. It was, it's, it's like that's why I still use this one specifically. I haven't replaced it in years. As you guys can probably tell, it's a go-to mop. It really is for me. One of the only other brands, again, that I know still makes a mop in this particular shape and style is, again, actually Art Primo. They have some standard mops in this shape, and I believe, once again, the Genova mops are no longer being sold. You could possibly find some old stock in a local shop. Probably not in any of the online stores, though. And if you haven't noticed by now, a lot of the mops that I'm mentioning on this list are very nice and slender, easy for carrying. That's always a big plus for me personally. To me, there's a lot of added value in a mop that you can carry with you in your pocket comfortably. That makes all the difference in the world. And speaking of comfortably carrying it in your pocket, this next one is as good as it gets. It is, let me try and not screw up this name, 
the OTR Soul Tip 0.007 Mini uh, 10 milliliter. That's the part I'm forgetting. Yeah, so the actual mop body, you can look at that. It's just a tiny little sucker. Literally 10 milliliters of paint in there with a mixing bowl. I'm showing you a new one rather than the one that I use on the regular just so you can actually see what it looks like when it's new. I don't want to be showing you too many of these old gross products <laughs> but yeah you can literally bring this with you anywhere if you needed to you could actually just shove it in your sock or something and carry it that way it's just so portable it's what i like to refer to as a beautiful casual carry type thing and as i mentioned with the Genobo, the squeezability this is legitimately the single most squeezable mop i have ever seen part of that's probably just because it's small very thin but of course the more squeezable it is the more controllability you have with this mop and the squeeze ability of it is something I don't think I quite put enough emphasis on in the full review that I did of these little guys. Again, you can check that out if you want more info on it. Now, this is obviously a mop made by a specific brand that I'm bringing up. On the Run makes fairly good mops in general, and they're comparatively reasonably priced compared to a lot of the other big brand mop makers. One of the pluses of the OTR brand in particular with these mops is that they come with a great selection of colors that you can choose from if you do want to buy some of the refills or a pre-filled mop if you really want, but that's not usually the best way to go. That being said, I don't necessarily think their paint formula itself is anything particularly special, but they do have a good line of colors. So if you are looking for something cheap that's a nice, casual, comfortable carry, I cannot recommend this little guy highly enough for you. And something else I can't recommend highly enough is the number one mop on this list. For those of you who have been on this channel for any length of time, this won't be a surprise to you at all. And that is because it's really any size of the frog mini squeezers here. These three are the ones that I currently use. These two are new ones, so of course the new ones look all nice. These mops have always been my number one go-tos for three reasons. Number one, the mini ones come in I think three nib sizes, possibly four. There's the five, there's the 10, there's the 20. I know there's a 25, I just don't think it comes in a mini version at all. Number two, they're very comfortable to carry around. You know, they're not quite as small as this little guy here, but that's also fits in my hand. You know, it's, it's fine. And number three, they are super controllable and their nibs are fairly sturdy, I find. As an added bonus, I personally love the consistency, the thickness, the juiciness of their Grog Full Metal Paint Formula. It's just my kind of paint. I've found that it stands up really well in the sun to bleaching. It's fairly permanent and all around great paint. Some others might disagree, I don't care. Not to talk up the paint formula too much either in these because that's not the main point, but I do find it, upon drawing, it is one of the single most glossy, shiny paint formulas that I have actually seen. And much like the OTR mops, these guys have tons of colors available as well. As you can see here, the ones that I have filled, I've mixed them with some, this one even has a gold mixed with a green, which you're really not supposed to do, but ask me if I care what my mops are filled with color-wise. I probably should emphasize that the mini versions of these grog mops aren't quite as good a deal as the full versions naturally, because with the mini versions, you're sort of paying for the fact that they are small. But for me, the carryability of these is a big bonus. Bonus. And I do realize I'm presenting these grog mops with a heavy bias, <laughs> but again, they have legitimately been my go-to carrying mops, as well as the Genobo and this sort of solid body mop, occasionally the OTR as well. So what do you expect me to do? Right? But I would absolutely love to hear what your go-to mops are that you carry regularly. If you would like to share, leave it in the comments and I'll definitely read it. Give it a thumbs up, show it some love. If you found this top five helpful or interesting, maybe consider subscribing to join our little graffiti community here on the channel. And hey, check out one of the other top five graffiti videos that we have or one of the 55 plus reviews of graffiti related products that we have done on the channel. I hope I'll see you in one of those videos in a bit. Until then, peace.